Now we're going to see the troubleshooting of a thermodynamic trap. There are two types of failure. One is open failure where the trap is leaking steam. The second failure is a closed failure where the trap is not discharging at all. First, to check the open failure, check the trap installation. The trap should be installed always perpendicular to the ground, main bore cap on the top side. Ensure that the trap is following the flow direction. To check the open failure, ensure that the trap is not leaking. To check whether the trap is leaking, check for any foreign particle deposition between the seat and the disc. To check that, remove the main bore cap. Use proper sized tools to remove the main bore cap. Ensure that there is no foreign particle deposition between the seat and the disc. If so, clean the seat and the disc with cotton. Reinstall the trap. Check for any scratches on the disc. If so, follow the lapping procedure and clean the surface. Once this is done, reassemble the trap. The second point to be checked in an open failure is the back pressure acting on the trap. See that the back pressure is not exceeding 80% of the inlet pressure. The next point one is to check whether the disc is getting stuck inside the cap. Check whether the cap is having the special step intact. It should not be worn out. Once that has been checked, reassemble the trap and check for the discharge pattern. For a closed loop failure, check whether the drip leg before the trap is blocked or choked. If so, flush the drip leg. Second point to be checked is the inline strainer present inside the trap. Remove the strainer screen and clean it with wire brush or kerosene. Once it has been cleaned, check the screen in the source of light and check for any kind of blockages. Once the screen is cleaned, reassemble the trap. Use proper sized tools and tighten it fully. Check whether the trap is getting airlocked. If so, tap the trap with a hammer or loosen it slightly to remove the air. While you are tightening the main bore cap or the strainer cap, use anti-seize to avoid any steam leakages. This is how you maintain a thermodynamic 